Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving, and welcome to our series on statistical functions. Today, we're going to cover two functions known as the min and the max. As a quick example, let's imagine we have a set of data with various different types of information here. We'll have different integers, both positive and negative. And let's say the goal now, imagine this was a huge set of data, was to dis understand what the minimum and the maximum of those numbers are. Well here, we can clearly see that the minimum here is the negative 98, and the maximum would be the 2,550. Now if we had a huge set of data, it might not be as easy for us to pinpoint those two numbers out. So the great thing about a spreadsheet here is that it can automatically calculate what the minimum and the maximum numbers are in a given data set. So the appropriate formulas to use are just as simple. It's the min and the max. Remember, whenever you start off with a function or formula, you must begin with an equal sign, followed by the name of the function, which is the minimum. And at that point, we can highlight the range of cells, your data set, from which you'd like to calculate the minimum. Close the paren, hit enter. And at that point, just as we had predicted, the minimum number is negative 98. Similarly, do the same thing for max. It's the maximum number, the function name being max. Highlight the range of cells. And just as we predicted, 2,550. Now, let's take a look at something cool, which is movies data. I've opened up these two columns, G and H, and this would be the total gross and the theaters. Now, what does that mean? What we have here on the left-hand side is a list of the 100 top-ranked movies based on their total gross. In addition, we have data on the number of theaters the movie was shown in, the total number of theaters. All this information comes from Bockoff Box Office Mojo's website. So we have this list of 100, all from the year 2012 with the highest grossing movies. So how do we calculate who, which movie got the minimum total gross? What was it? What was the total gross that is the lowest amount within the top ranked 100 movies? Let's use the min function and highlight the range that represents the total gross. We've captured all the movies from 1 to 100. Click enter. So 17 million was approximately the smallest grossing amount of movies within the top 100 ranked movies by gross. Now let's do the same for number of theaters. And what we see is, within the top 100 highest grossing movies, the 924 theaters was the smallest um, number of theaters any one movie captured in that list. Now let's look at the maximum. Again, be sure to use the, the max function here. Capture the proper range. 623 million is the highest grossing movie. And in terms of the total number of theaters shown for any given movie, we have 4,404. All right. So quick and easy, we've learned today how to calculate the minimum and the maximum value of a given set of data. Thanks so much for listening. For more info, you can visit www.spreadsheetsolving.com.